Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com. In this video, we are going to look at how to use a formula to count how many records between two dates. So I've got a simple list on the left um, of dates that's obviously required and also some pretend sales figures. And elsewhere on the spreadsheet, I've got in one cell the start date, in another an end date. And I want to know how many rows, how many records occur within that date range. And because I've put those dates into cells of the spreadsheet, I can interact with those and specify whatever date range I wish. And then return how many orders sit within that range. Now for this, we're going to use the count ifs function. I've got two conditions. It must be greater than or equals that start date but also less than or equals that end date it must be within that range which is the last 20 days uh, at this example at the point of creating this video it is the 24th of april 2017 so we need the count ifs function because i've got those two conditions now because i've got this these dates in cells though the count ifs function will only allow you to specify criteria by referring to it in a cell or by writing the criteria within its formula. Now, I want to do a little bit of both here because uh, I've got the date in a cell, but I don't have the logical part of that, the greater than or equals or less than or equals. So we're going to have to concatenate that bill in. Let's have a look at this. Let me zoom in on this cell so you guys can see the formula I write. And it's going to be a count ifs function equals count ifs open in bracket. So I'm prompted for that first criteria range. Now the range I'm testing, the criteria range, is this range of cells. Now I'm going to simply highlight that, which is A2 to A16 in this example, but that's the range of dates. I'm testing those that date range. And I'll put in a comma. So now it wants the criteria. What, what am I looking for within that date range? Now, to begin with, I'm looking for a date that's greater than or equals the 4th of April 2017, aka cell E3. And as I mentioned, I'm going to have to concatenate the logical operators and the cell. So in some double inverted commas, I'm going to type my greater than or equal signs and then close that off with the inverted commas and then put an ampersand in to kind of join or concatenate cell E3. So that is that is the criteria range. Whatever date's in E3, and I'm testing if it's greater than or equals of that date. And criteria written into functions like count ifs needs to be written as a string, as text, which is why I've had to, as text, write that part of the... Uh, uh, the criteria but then specify the cell in a different part i can now put a comma in criteria range two is the same range as the first one now that obviously could be a different range if we needed but here it's the same range of dates i'm going to put in a comma and a criteria is very similar in a string in inverted commas double inverted commas less than or equals the ampersand and the other cell f3 they are the only two tests i need so i can close off count ifs and run that by pressing enter and that returns four orders if i scrolled out of here notice the dates are not in order uh, so looking in this range 4th of april there's the sixth there's the 16th, there's the 7th, and there's the 5th. There are four dates. But I can change the values of these cells. If I was to make that the, uh, the for example, the 14th of March, then all of a sudden there's 12 orders. But, you know, if I change that to just maybe the 2nd of April, now there's eight orders within that range. So I've written a formula where people can change the values of this start and end range. You know, so if they want to know the last week or the last two weeks or 
the month of February. You know, they could easily just interact with the same formula and that will always count the number of values, like the number of records within that date range between those two dates. I hope you found that video useful. Please check out some of our other videos on our YouTube channel and come check us out at computergaga.com.